In high school with the Wildcats, Uno's Pizza, Boys Player of the Week, Daquan Wells, and Day Day, quite a start to the scrimmage that was over at uh, Lexington County uh, 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 Jamboree on uh, Friday night when on the first play from scrimmage, 75-yard catch and run for a touchdown. You kind of become known for big plays like that. Tell me where that comes from. You always seem to be the guy that, that does, uh, does the kind of play that makes the highlight reel. Just watching people that years before me, just watching them play, and just wanting to be like them, watching like great athletes, like in college and the NFL. Yeah. Now you've done it, obviously, from the wide receiver position, returning kickoffs, returning punts. Uh, which of those do you enjoy the most? I like kick return, that's the best thing. That's the best one? Do you feel like that's your strongest suit? Yes, sir. All right, the speed that you have, everybody knows about that, but Josh was telling me something that gets overlooked is you really are a great route runner. And talk a little bit about the mechanics that go into being an elite receiver at the high school level. It's more than just being athletic. Yeah, it's a little thing. It's like the footwork, stuff like that, and like not being too high when you break down, not like looking and stuff like that. As far as the quarterbacks, uh, obviously Chase has done a great job in the preseason. It's his job, but we saw the other night over at Chapin uh, that Oscar can come in and do a heck of a job too. Uh, how nice is it to have not one but two guys that you know you can hang your hat on back there? It's, it's real nice because just in case Chase goes down or something, we always have Oscar back there, throw the ball, and he can run it too. So. Now, we don't want to give anything away, but with your speed and your ability to break the big play, any chance that we might see you out of the uh, Wildcat formation? Yes, sir. A little bit. Yeah? I bet you love that. Yes, I'm sir. just guessing. <laughs> okay, as far as West Florence, uh, you, we know that offensively they're different, but as far as what you're going to face when they are on the defensive side of the ball and you guys have the football, what kind of, uh, what kind of stuff do they run and kind of what have you seen on tape about them? They run like a 4-3. So Basic was, stuff. Yes, sir. Seen Basically. some things that maybe you might be able to exploit in the in the passing game. Yes, sir. It's like the corners will play a little off. So. I know last year you guys had a terrific season. Your only losses were the first game and then in the state championship game. But I would think that maybe once or twice you've thought back. And I know you want to get off to a good start this year. Again, you're on the road. Uh, is it kind of a focus that look? We don't want to start this season like we did last season. Yes, sir. Like we don't want to. Last year, I didn't like that. I, I I cried like after the first game we lost because I hate losing. Like, mm -hmm. I hate it with a passion. But after that, we fought it together, and then we won all the way to the state championship. We lost. It kind of broke my heart when we lost. Yeah. So you got one more chance yes, to sir. make things right yes, over the course of this season. Can't wait to watch it this year. And again, you are the Uno's Pizza Lexington Boys Player of the Week. Daquan Day Day Wells here at Lexington High School. Now I'm going to let you get out there in that heat and do a little practicing to get ready for West Florence on Friday. Day Day, thank you so much, man.